How many of us would welcome an easier way to do our job? What if the simple push of a button could save you time and effort while still ensuring that the task was done the right way? Well, that's exactly what McElroy has done with the latest addition to their popular Trackstar line. They've called it the Trackstar i-Series, and it's totally transforming the operator experience. We're gonna learn all about it today on this episode of McElroy Made. When it comes to plastic pipe fusion, McElroy's iconic track star is known around the globe. It's a self-propelled fusion machine that sits on top of tracks, allowing operators to drive directly to a fusion site on the job, something that would have required extra machinery prior to its introduction. The track star was a first of its kind when it debuted back in 1997, but as the industry has evolved, so too has the equipment and operator demands on the job site. So McElroy went to work incorporating answers to the field's biggest challenges into an all new track star. I'm here at McElroy in Tulsa, Oklahoma to visit with the teams that brought us this new track star i-series lineup to life. My first stop is to chat with the man who originally came up with the idea for the track star, president and CEO, Chip McElroy. Thanks for being here today. Nice to meet you, Lisa. Thank you, nice to meet you too. All right, well, we're excited to sit down with you today and ask some questions. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is the original track star. I heard that that was your brainchild. Is that right? It was, yes. So um, I think the origin of the track star goes back to uh, the summer of 1993. One of our very good customers, Phelps Dodge, Marinci Mine in Marinci, Arizona, went on site and I, I had been told what to expect. It didn't do it justice. One of the uh, supervisors at the mine site pointed out that uh, our wheeled units, number one, needed a vehicle to pull them. Number two, when you looked at this landscape where they were fusing pipe, you couldn't really pull a wheeled vehicle over the top of them. And so it caused them a lot of extra work. There obviously were safety concerns with uh, having to handle equipment on and off the truck. Uh, but it was really that visit that uh, started the wheels turning. So in 1997, how was this received? The initial response was really good. Um, we actually went back to Arizona, uh, debuted it. It was this first public showing of the machine uh, in the fall of 97. We've learned with a lot of products developments that a lot of the times the things that you see that are going to be advantages are not only advantages, but there's some other ones that once it gets in the field. And I think one of our real eye openers was a, a real water job. The contractor uh, started talking about having the machine's ability to reposition itself ever so slightly between one fusion joint to the next fusion joint it turned out to be uh, one of the most widely recognized advantages that this machine had. How important is the Trackstar machine to McElroy's success throughout the world? I think it's incredibly important uh, to where we are today. Things we've learned have and are continuing to shape uh, the products that you'll see in the marketplace today from McElroy, as well as those products you'll see in the marketplace maybe tomorrow. So with all the success that this machine has already had, why change it? You know, I think back to um, uh, a lot of the experiences I had with my father. He had this saying, there's got to be a better way. I think to quote him, it was more like, damn it, there has to be a better way. So we've, we've got this passion about um, how do we take what we've done and not just do it over saying it's gonna be a different model, but how do we make it distinctly better? How do we make it uh, have uh, greater value to the market? So did you have some type of an aha moment where you realized what the track star needed to be and where you wanted to go with it? Probably the greatest aha moment was looking at how the operators were interfacing with not just our track stars, but our other machines using the data logger. And uh, the problem we recognized was the data logger tool was being accepted in the marketplace and used in the marketplace. But when you sat and watched the operator interfacing with the data logger and the machine, we realized that we were asking the operator to do more things. And so we kind of looked at it from that better way and said, how could we integrate this? Transforming a machine as well known as the Trackstar meant that McElroy really had to understand the needs of their customer. 
They only had one shot to get this change right. Brett Stone is the product manager over the Trackstar iSeries line. So Brett, there's gotta be some risk involved in changing something with such a field proven reputation, right? So yeah, I mean, there's always risk involved. You go from a proven product that's been used for a long time and you evolve that to, you know, what it is today in terms of the large diameter Trackstar iSeries. So what is different about the Trackstar iSeries? You know, there's a there's a lot of a training that goes into operating our equipment. And so we wanted to build that technology into the equipment. We also wanted to adopt our data logger. We wanted to integrate the two together. And so we did that by bringing the data logger into the operation of the machine. There's some repetitive tasks that are used each and every time that an operator does. Um, they're repetitive, but if you take a couple months off, you're gonna come back to, what was that shift sequence again? How do I calculate that drag pressure? We also wanted to prevent unnecessary damage in the equipment. Um, and then another feature um, and just focus on the equipment that we really wanted to bring in with safety. We've got hydraulic lockout now on the equipment. We've also recessed a lot of the proportional controls. So if an operator is leaning over the equipment, they might hit uh, a lever, a knob, nothing's gonna move. It's all hidden, protected. So the machine was great before, but now it's been elevated. It's been elevated, that's wonderful. So Brett, why should an operator want to change? Actually, they don't have to. We built in what we call fusion guide control. And in fusion guide control essentially is three levels of fusion. Level one most closely resembles how an, an experienced operator would operate the machine today. Level two of fusion guide control is where the machine starts to take over and the operator and the machine are essentially having a conversation. Level three fusion is where the machine completely takes over and does the fusion process on its own. We give you that option and we've seen huge productivity gains in the field from operators advancing and using level three fusion. So how complicated would you say this is to learn? It looks quite a bit different than the controls from before. Yeah, so don't let the controls fool you. So if an operator, an experienced operator steps up to operate the machine, uh, the controls and functions are all at the same location that they would be on a legacy machine. And a new operator can easily step in and learn that functionality as well. So it was really important for us to keep that overall feel and user experience the same. So how has the new iSeries machine been received in the field? Uh, you know, it's been received extremely well. We've shipped machines in a record number for the Trackstar iSeries, and I think we'll continue to see that growth. So yeah, the technology has been extremely well received. So I've heard the Trackstar iSeries is all about integrated technology to make the customer's job easier. That's even what the I stands for. But how do they do that exactly? And what does that really mean? Two of the people who were instrumental in that monumental task, McElroy's Mike Pacheco and Matt Price, sat down to teach me more about it. So I hear that the newest advancement of the Trackstar I series is the integration of software that makes it easier for the operator. Yeah, it's definitely the path we are taking is uh, focusing on the operator and how they're going to interface with the machine. We really wanted repeatability uh, throughout the system. Everything is seamless, behaves the same way every time. And so when we look at what we were going to do with the iSeries, but it really all started around the data logger. So much time and care went into the data logger. We were able to integrate this new CAN bus system to transfer more information across to every device that we could make a smarter, better, faster machine. One thing we quickly learned was, let's, let's take the faults. Uh, it'll say SPN 592618FMI4. What does that mean? So we said, how can we give this information to the user? And so we really focused on, let's make that human readable at the, at the machine itself. And I think that kind of kicked that whole concept off of, of basically built-in diagnostics in a piece of equipment. So the data logger controls many of the machine's functions through the fusion guide control system. So what would be the benefit of that for the user? You know, let's face it, McElroy customers, they love our equipment, but it gets into some unique situations sometimes and we need to allow for that. When we looked at what the fusion guide control system could do is, is really uh, 
taking them where they needed to and giving them the right amount of control for whatever the situation. So would you say that there's any type of a learning curve or anything like that as people are transitioning? I, I think that has been one of the, the biggest eye openers uh, with this machine is how fast they can uh, pick up on it. We really focused immediately on level three, uh, was really our first step, which is how can we fully automate the process. We wanted to make sure that they were as comfortable with this machine as we were. That sounds like you have a lot to be proud of. We're proud. We sure are. The changes McElroy made to the new Trackstar weren't just electronic. The engineering team took the opportunity to make some mechanical improvements as well, rethinking hydraulic systems, tuning engine performance, and improving indexer designs to ensure that the customer experience with the new machine would be exceptional. Paul, thank you so much for joining us today. So first of all, this machine looks a lot different than past Trackstars. Can you tell me a little bit about why that is? When we started designing the I-Series machines, we focused on a common architecture throughout all the machines. The other big thing that we focused on was some customer feedback that we got where we could allow fusions of fittings and tees with the carriage remaining on the vehicle. We want to advance our products with technology to make sure that we can give the customer the most productive and useful, reliable piece of equipment that they can have. Since we uh, had to move components from the front of the machine where the uh, T's will now be able to be fused. We had to reposition all those components that were there and we changed the system pressure of the machine and that allows for more work, more tractive effort, more clamping force, more pipe lift force. It just benefits the whole system. We also added arc sensors, which allow us to have rotational position of the heater and the facer. So we know where they are in their rotational motion the entire time. That coupled with the linear position sensors on the carriage itself, allows us to have collision avoidance. We're reducing repair costs, we're adding benefit to the customer, and we're also keeping uptime on the machines. The engine was one of the main factors in the new redesign for the Trackstar. Were there any other benefits? We really found a engine that had the best components for us and also had a, a service network that could provide service around the world because we do sell our equipment in some of the most remote parts of the world and that is important to us and to our customers. It's pretty amazing to experience a machine like the Trackstar firsthand. It seems like the addition of the data logger tablet and software to help the customer through the entire pipe fusion process is nothing short of amazing. That's certainly what McElroy thinks, but what does the end user think? Mike, thank you so much for being here with us today out on site. I'm happy to have you and talk to you about a few things. So first of all, I want to know, what were your first impressions? I was brought in uh, with my company, ISCO, and uh, once it was demonstrated to me, and once I saw what level three on the machine has capability-wise, I said, why wouldn't anybody want to make fusions in automatic mode? So how does the new Traxor I-Series help your operator? It allows them to uh, follow prompts through the workflow process. Uh, it gives the operators a, a choice where their comfort level is. Have you seen any improvements in the field since you started utilizing this new machine? A consistency in the fusions that are made with the machines having uh, the crash avoidance system. Um, we're, we're seeing not so many repair bills. Uh, those repairs can be quite costly and you have a lot of downtime uh, and time is money in the construction business. So how quickly do operators pick up on the new automated machine functions? We found that, you know, if operators have just the basic understanding of fusion and have worked with fusion machines before, uh, we, can get, we can get operators trained up in, in a matter of a couple of hours. Um, McElroy does a really good job of making the equipment uh, intuitive. And if I can operate something, anybody can operate. Well, there you have it. McElroy's latest design combines modern technology and practical use making pipe fusions on the job site more consistent than ever before. The Trackstar I-Series combines a trend of innovation that McElroy definitely takes pride in, and you can be sure that they're not stopping there. I can't wait to see what they'll come up with next. Whatever it might be, we will check it out together on the next episode of McElroy Made. Want everybody happy? <laughs> this is gonna get nerdy. Do so I just start talking again? Rubber buggy baby bumpers. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> <laughs>